Western Australia alone, 31 and Kyoso, 27, were arrested Tuesday in northern Yago and face a possible 14-year jail sentence. Reuters President Stephen J. Adela issued a statement Wednesday saying, We are outraged by this blatant attack on press freedom. We call for authorities to release them immediately. The two reporters have been working on stories related to a military offensive in western Myanmar's restive Rakhai region that has led hundreds of thousands of Rohingyas, a Muslim minority community, to flee the country over the last three months. The two journalists obtained the documents by deception from the two policemen who came back from Rakhai State after serving security duties, the Myanmar police said in a statement. The two police officers were also arrested and faced similar charges. At least 626,000 Rohingyas, one of the most persecuted communities in the world, have fled to neighboring Bangladesh to escape the offensive and related abuse that the Myanmar army launched in August in response to a series of attacks on government posts by Rohingya rebels. The plight of the Rohingyas had led to global outrage with several organizations, including the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, describing it as ethnic cleansing. Media and human rights organizations have repeatedly denounced the climate of repression under which journalists work in Myanmar despite the return of democracy in 2016 after almost half a century of military dictatorship. However, although the government is headed by Nobel Peace Laureate Aung San Suu Kyi, the armed forces continue to control key ministries, including the Ministry of Defense interior and borders besides a quarter of reserved seats reserved in parliament that gives them veto power. Since the arrival of Suyuki and her party to power, more than 70 people have been arrested for defamation on social networks, including journalists.